you're listening to Do This First, a daily personal development podcast that focuses on science-backed, actionable steps towards your best year ever. Hi, I'm Sandy, your host. Today, we're continuing our 10-part series, The Stoics, Lessons in Leadership and Life with Cicero. Marcus Tullius Cicero was a Roman statesman and orator, a lawyer, and a philosopher. He is widely considered one of Rome's greatest orators and prose stylists. Cicero was not a Stoic philosopher by strict definition, but he greatly admired Stoic philosophy and incorporated its principles into his own ethical and political beliefs. Cicero was born into a wealthy equestrian family in the Roman Republic. His father was a member of the Equestrian Order, which was a class of Roman citizens just below the senatorial class in terms of social rank and wealth. Cicero's accomplishments include serving as consul, one of the two highest offices in the Roman Republic in 63 BC. He played also a central role in the political life of Rome and was known for his skill in oratory and his defense of Republican principles against the growing power of Julius Caesar. Cicero was killed on December 7, 43 BC during the prescriptions following the assassination of Julius Caesar. He was executed on the orders of Mark Antony. Cicero's writings influenced several thought leaders through time, including John Adams, the second president of the United States. He was an admirer of Cicero's writings and considered him one of his political role models. Also, Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, was very influenced by Cicero's political philosophy. Montague, the French political philosopher and jurist, drew inspiration from Cicero's works on republicanism and political theory. Voltaire, the French Enlightenment writer, was influenced by Cicero's ideas on liberty, democracy, and the importance of civic virtue. Though Cicero, once again, was not a Stoic philosopher in the strictest sense, like Epictetus, he did incorporate many of its tenets, and that is why we've included him in this series. While Cicero was a highly accomplished statesman, orator, and philosopher, he was not without his failures and character flaws. Some of Cicero's notable shortcomings include vacillation and indecision. Cicero often struggled with making decisive and timely decisions, especially in times of political crises. His hesitancy and indecision sometimes led to missed opportunities and unfavorable outcomes. His inconsistencies in principles, despite his defense of ideals and condemnation of tyranny, Cicero's actions at times appear to align with his interests and the interests of those in power leading some to question his consistency in upholding his professed values, a criticism that was also levied at Seneca. His pomposity and vanity. Cicero was known for his vanity and desire for recognition and admiration. His self-promotion and sometimes arrogant demeanor could be off-putting to his contemporaries and detracted from his otherwise noble pursuit. There were political miscalculations too, Cicero's involvement in the conflict between Julius Caesar, Pompey, and Crassus ultimately resulted in his exile from Rome. His political maneuvers at times were not always successful or well-received, leading to personal setbacks. And then there was his fear of risk. Cicero's aversion to taking significant risks, particularly when faced with powerful adversaries like Caesar and Mark Antony, sometimes hindered his ability to effectively oppose threats to the Roman Republic. These flaws and failures, while detracting from Cicero's overall legacy in some respects, also humanize him and serve as a reminder of the complexities and challenges faced by even the most accomplished historical figures. Studying Cicero's philosophical writings and life provides valuable insights into leadership. Here are five key leadership lessons drawn from Cicero's works and experiences. One, his commitment to ethics and virtue. Cicero believed in the importance of upholding moral principles 
and embodying virtuous behavior. Leaders can learn from him. The significance of ethical leadership means prioritizing integrity, honesty, and justice in all of your actions and decision-making processes. Number two, his stoic resilience and fortitude. While again, not a strict stoic philosopher, Cicero was influenced by stoic principles, including the cultivation of resilience and fortitude, especially in the face of adversity. Leaders can learn from Cicero's example, the value of maintaining composure, perseverance, and inner strength during challenging times is critical for a leader. Number three, strategic thinking and adaptability. Cicero demonstrates strategic thinking and adaptability in navigating the complex political landscape of ancient Rome. Leaders can learn from his ability to assess situations, devise effective strategies, and adjust courses needed to achieve long-term goals and respond to changing circumstances. Number four, his commitment to public service and civic duty. Cicero viewed public service as a noble duty and fundamental aspect of citizenship. Leaders can learn from his emphasis on serving the common good, promoting the welfare of society, and upholding the values of democracy in their leadership roles. Lastly, number five, learning from failures and criticism. Despite facing setbacks and criticisms throughout his career, Cicero persevered and continued to grow as a leader. Leaders can learn from his willingness to learn from failure, accept feedback, and adapt based on constructive criticism to become more effective and resilient in your leadership endeavor. Cicero was famous for several reasons, most notably for his exceptional skills as an orator, his contributions to Roman politics, his philosophical writing, and his defense of principles in the face of growing autocratic tendencies in Rome. Today, Cicero is widely regarded as one of the most significant figures in ancient Rome and a giant of Roman eloquence and philosophy. Historians generally hold Cicero in high esteem for his intellectual contributions, his ideals, and his influence on subsequent Western political and philosophical thought. Cicero's enduring reputation as one of the greatest stems from several factors. His mastery of oratory, Cicero's unparalleled talent as an orator earned him widespread fame during his lifetime and continues to impress historians and scholars today. His speeches were not only persuasive and eloquent, but also marked by clarity, wit, and rhetorical sophistication. His philosophical contributions, while not groundbreaking philosopher in his own right, Cicero played a crucial role in popularizing Greek philosophical ideas, particularly Stoicism in the Roman context. His philosophical dialogues have had a lasting impact on Western thought. Cicero's works have had a profound influence on subsequent writers, thinkers, and leaders throughout history. His ideas on governance, rhetoric, ethics, and the nature of justice continues to resonate in modern discourse on politics, law, and morality. Here are my favorite notable quotes that are attributed to Cicero. Number one, gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. Number two, the greater the difficulty, the greater the glory. Number three, to be ignorant of what occurred before you were born is to remain always a child. I love that. Number four, the budget should be balanced. The treasury should be refilled. Public debt should be reduced. The arrogance of officialdom should be tempered and controlled. And the assistance to foreign lands should be curtailed, lest Rome become bankrupt. Five, the wise are instructed by reason. Average minds by experience. The stupid by necessity and the brute by instinct. While there's life, there's hope. That's a Cicero quote. It is a true saying that one falsehood leads easily to another. In a free state, tongues too should be free. If you have no confidence in self, you are twice defeated in the race of life. If you like what you're hearing, don't forget to leave a review. Follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel 
at Do This First. You can also read a full transcript of this podcast episode and all of my podcast episodes on my blog, Do This First. Life. You can also sign up for my new weekly newsletter, which will help you get your week started on a positive note and updates on coaching, books, merch, and my public speaking engagement as they become available. Tomorrow, we'll continue with our 10-part Stoic Lessons in Leadership and Life Series. Till tomorrow. Moving past the rain, moving past the pain, or past the color blue, I see power in you, past wealth to down, look around, they can't be found, I see, I see, I see, I see a chance. Champion in